the Forbes is is very famous for having really fabulous books that go back to the founding. I was reading uh, some history about the library and how Cutter uh, had gone to Europe with fifty thousand dollars and came back with three thousand fabulous books, and yes. he was a real innovator and a real spark for this library being as mm -hmm. unique as it is. Yes, Cutter uh, really set the tone for mm -hmm. Forbes Library yeah. in the beginning. He came from the Boston Athenaeum by way of Harvard College, that's where he went to school, mm -hmm. and then he w worked for a time at the Boston Public Library. Yeah. His aunts wanted him to be a Unitarian minister. Mm -hmm. He threw that over for librarianship because he fell in love with libraries, and in particular, one cataloger who became his mentor. And he began to see the need to catalog books. You know, in the old days, you had almost account books where you would put the first book that came into the library and then chronologically every other book. Yes. But there was no way for anyone to see, to anyone to browse in a, a section or to see what you had. So Cutter uh, became a, in, a really innovative uh, cataloger and developed something called the expansive classification system. Um, anything that the mind of man or woman could see in the future can be cataloged through the expansive classification system. And Northampton is fairly unique. I guess there are a couple of other libraries that still use the cutter classification system. Yes, and it's the basis really, if you look at it, for the Library of Congress system. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they borrowed um, quite liberally from Cutter in order to do their system. Did he invent or develop the catalog card system of, of cataloging? He helped with, with he, yes, he yeah. helped with that. Um, because before then, yeah. you, you had a, a big book that listed all the books. That That's had. right. Yeah. He was a systematizer. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that is he could look at a, a series of books and tell the front desk, this one will go out for two weeks, <laughs> this one will go out for four, based on the size and, and the width of the book. Yeah. Um, How long would it take somebody to read it? Oh, he, he was uh, <laughs> He was amazing. always thinking, yeah. He was also an innovator in the sense that he um, was interested in uh, women in libraries. Uh, he was one of the first to ask women to do reference work in libraries, which was unheard of. So um, we look upon him as a feminist as well. Well, we're always counting on mm -hmm. women's great memories to, mm -hmm. uh, to remember everything.